How you doing everybody? Time to eat again. Today I'm gonna to use my instant pot with the slow cook function to make myself a nice pulled pork. Remember this piece of pork that I got the other day? Remember how I acquired it? <laughs> I borrowed it from a bigger piece and I cut it with my soles all, remember? I know a lot of us got instant pots and pressure cookers for the holiday that just passed. And I like using the slow cook function once in a while and this happens to be the instant pot but I have other pressure cookers that have that function as well. First of all I'm going to remove the lid and my piece of meat is just about four pounds 3.8 something we'll call it four and I'm going to spice it up pretty good I'm going to use Sweet Baby Ray's Sweet Golden Mustard Barbecue Sauce and we're going to keep with that mustard theme and add some Inglehofer mustard mm. and some Coleman's horseradish sauce from David and his wife thank you very much this is from England onion garlic well I guess I don't need granulated garlic do I liquid smoke lemon pepper seasoning you can do this simple just put the meat and sauce in and nothing else or you can jazz it up like I'm going to do. Right now I'm going to cut, let's see, two, four, six, eight, nine cloves of garlic, and I'm going to dice up my onion. I'll be back when I got that done. You can cut these up as small or as large as you like. Just be careful. You don't even have to add any of this, but why not? It's going to be so good. Okay. I'm going to cut my meat into quarters easily in half and in half again. You could put it in as one whole piece of roast which would be okay and then slice it at the end but it's going to fall apart so good. I like pulled pork for sandwiches and I like the flavors to get all incorporated there. I might even cut it up a little more could also inject it or marinate it overnight. You're the chef. Create it however you like and add what you like. You can make it spicy with chipotle which I did a few times already. Put peppers in there. Right now I'm going to select slow cook here. Can you see that? Slow cook and then it goes less normal or more. Press adjust in the past I used this for a slow cooker and less was too low and I told myself put it on normal next time and my time there is eight I'm going eight hours and that's it in a few seconds it'll kick in see now it's ready put my meat in first beautiful piece of pork loin boneless This is the 8 quart. You can do it in a 6 quart, 4 quart, 10 quart, whatever you like. I'm going to add my Sweet Baby Rays. I like this mustard flavored one. You could use barbecue flavor. Whatever you like. Hang on, I'll give you a shot on top here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Come on over here. Such a good smell, this Sweet Baby Rays golden mustard. Sweet golden mustard. Use a whole bottle of that. And I might put a shot of water in there to get good stuff off the sides, which I always like doing. See, that's about an eighth of a bottle there. Water. It's going to make a lot of its own juice, so that's all the liquid we're going to need here. I love liquid smoke. Just a couple shots of that. <laughs> you like that? Smell that. Mmm, it's smoky. Just going to add a spoonful of horseradish sauce. Woo wee! Give me a spoon. Spoonful, tablespoon. Make it two. That's creamy and delicious. Ah, Coleman's of Norwich, England. Horseradish sauce. 
Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Couple shots of that. <laughs> Wait. Some lemon pepper seasoning with zest of lemon. Couple shakes of that. Mm, boy, oh boy. Let me give that a little stir quick. With my handy wooden spurt. Just to get the flavors underneath and get the horseradish around. Oh, guess what I forgot? I didn't forget my onions and garlic. Thank you. Steered it up a little. Slow cook. So if I was home all day, I get to smell this all day. But if I was going to work like a normal person, I would set this right now. Right now it is 6.45 a.m. <laughs> in the morning and then when you come home from work because I set it for eight hours it's gonna be ready and if you don't get home on time after this slow cook function is done it goes on keep warm for 10 hours you believe that now I'm gonna top it off with this delicious stone ground mustard this is so good because I want this right on top See? mustard theme you don't have to use mustard make it all barbecue Make it fruity, make it vegetable -y, however you like it. Is that it? That's it. Okay. You can put your lid on, your Instant Pot. Do not put it in sealing mode. Put it in venting mode. And that's all you gotta do. I already set my time and it's uh, 7 hours and 54 minutes because I've been talking to you for 6 minutes or so. But, I have an optional glass lid which I like to use and you might have one that fits your pot or maybe came with it I like to use the glass lid because I can look in there <laughs> tease me just a little bit more and that's it see how simple that was you can use this with any pressure cooker that has a slow cook mode which is convenient I have it on normal setting eight hours it's gonna be so delicious Okay, I'm gonna go about my day now. This should be done at about 2.45 this afternoon, but I'm not gonna eat at that time. I'm gonna let it go in to keep warm. And I'm gonna eat around five, and it's gonna be so tender and delicious, believe me. So you could do this exact recipe under high pressure for 90 minutes, and it will be perfect. But for the purpose today, to demonstrate the slow cook mode, going eight hours, and it's still gonna be perfect, all right. It's going to be a long day of smelling this delicious stuff. Try not to open it either. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you soon. Can't wait! The time has come. It's been about, I don't even know how many hours, 10. I fell asleep. It went into keep warm mode. It smells delicious. I didn't look in there all day either. Do you want to look in there now? Mustard still on top of there, right where I left it. Oh, yeah. I stick a fork in there once. We're gonna have to pull it apart, but just to get a sample. Let's see. Oh, see, it. pulling right apart. Oh yeah, see it? Oh man. All right, let me let me find a container to put this in, and I went out and got some rolls too. I'm gonna have a sandwich. Yeah, look. It's coming right apart, see? Ooh. Taste that. Mm. I couldn't find much but a glass bowl to put this in, but that's okay because you can see it's just falling apart as I take it out of here. See? Look. Look. Ooh. That's gonna be a good sandwich. Sure is. Get some more juice out with the ladle. See? Put that on top of your sandwich if you want. Get that mustard. That delicious mustard barbecue flavor. Ooh, okay, there's about. There's 
There's a lot of that in there yet, see? I can pull apart. But I'm in a hurry to eat. <laughs> Look at the onions and garlic. Come here, let me make a sandwich quick. Wow. Got some Hostess hamburger buns today. Could use uh, whatever kind of rolls you got. I was going to use just regular bread, but I was out and I got some buns. Smells so good. <sighs> nice bun. Nice little bun. That's all you need. I should have it on the fork to just pull this with. Okay. Doesn't seem too good here. Can you see it? Take my word for it. Look at it. Shredding apart. Did I shred it? Let me put this down on my, my bun. Oh boy. So that's using your pressure cooker as a slow cooker. Put your ingredients in and you're done. Go to work. Whatever you want to do. Could melt cheese on this right now if I wanted to. Look at the onions, got yellow from the mustard too. I like pickles on top sometimes. Whatever you like. Nice. Since we got the theme going here, I'll put a little more mustard on top. Oh yeah, just a little bit. This could have been just barbecue sauce, you know. More horseradish too. Coleman. Beautiful. It's beautiful. <clears throat> Gotta taste it. Mm-mm. Mmm. So good. The mustard flavor in there. A little bit of horseradish in the background. The onions got a perfect crunch pickle the meat is just melts in your mouth mm hmm mm. Mm. Woo. that's perfect I unplugged it now but remember it would have stayed and keep warm mode for 10 hours so if you got home at 3 o'clock, somebody got home at 5 o'clock, somebody got home at 8 o'clock, it'd be ready for everybody. <laughs> the longer it sits there, the better it gets. You know that. This is going to be good for leftovers tomorrow. For a couple days. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Thank you very much. I'm glad you liked this. <laughs> I loved it. I'm glad for that. Have a nice night. Don't get snowed on. Ugh. I'll talk to you soon.